I think we all felt that we'd never seen you look more determined or more nerveless. On the question of nerves, uh, you feel you're really living with a reputation that's out of date, don't you? Mm, yes, definitely. I mean, I think, uh, I think that uh, it's so important at Wimbledon. I mean, I, I've had obviously had lots of years and years to think it out, and it's taken me much too long, but um, I've always felt that there's this balance between tension and uh, determination, and so often you can see that the whole thing just gets too much. I mean, not only for me, but for several players, and that the determination just sort of fades into the background. If you can keep the determination up at the top, then you forget about your nerves. And in fact, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at all in that match. I got, I got a little bit tired, which has exactly the same effect. Some of these long points sort of make your legs turn a little bit to jelly. But I, I knew that uh, I, wasn't, uh, I was just so determined to win that I wasn't going to be nervous. Have you ever played better, do you think, on a really big occasion? No, I mean, I thought that even in the second set when she was controlling it a little bit too much, I thought that, you know, this is such a great match that, um, you know, if I lost, it wouldn't be anything to be ashamed of. When it was a set all, you served first in the final set. Mm. And that was very important. There were three juices mm. and you had a point to break uh, against you. And then on your ad point, there was that incident, the not-up yeah. one, wasn't it? What happened there now? Well, I saw the ball clearly bounce twice. And, uh, and, you know, and Chris sort of gave up on it as well. But I was totally wrong because I should have... She sort of was standing there and I should have won the point, whatever. And then there would have been no question. Because the umpire, I mean, I would knew that somebody of the linesmen would see that it was not up. But, but uh, I mean, I should have I played the point anyway. And, I mean... Chris was very, very decent to give it to me because uh, the umpire hadn't seen it. But it, I mean, I was quite convinced that it was clearly, uh, it wasn't even questionable, it was clearly a double bounce. Well, here you are in the centenary year, the jubilee year. You tried so hard for so long, and here you are on the last round playing in front of the Queen on Friday. How do you react to that prospect? Well, I mean, I knew, when I found out that the Queen was coming, I knew that this was the year to be in the final. <laughs> And I also thought that uh, if I could get to the final of this tournament, that I would, you know, once I got to the... F if I could possibly get there, that I wasn't going to blow it when I got there. So I've now I've got there, and I'd better not blow it. Well, with that win, of course, there was now a distinct possibility that we might have an all-British ladies' final on Friday to set before the quick. <laughs>